Hey everyone, this is Jacob S. Paulson, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from people lately about WordPress, and so I'm going to be doing some uh, series of WordPress tutorials. I already um, did a, uh, a tutorial on how to set up a hosting account and uh, install WordPress on it, uh, but now what I want to do is talk a little bit about some of the specific things we do inside of WordPress. Uh, so what I've done now is I've logged into my WordPress uh, dashboard um, at jacobspaulson.com and I've come over here to posts and I've clicked on add new and so I'm now uh, in the screen of adding a new post and I want to just talk about well how it is that we uh, post to our blogs in WordPress and that's going to be the subject of this video. Um, there's a lot of things that go on when you add a post and this post that uh, you guys are going to help me uh, write today will be the post uh, that has this tutorial video on it uh, so it'll be somewhat coincidental. Now the first thing you need to do is come up with a title for the for the post. We do that up here. And so the title for this post will be WordPress um, How to Post Correctly. Okay, so that's going to be our, our title, and so that's what people will see when they come to my blog and they, they want to uh, read this post. Um, I'd like to uh, stretch out my text area a little bit. You can grab at the bottom of your text area and stretch that out so you have a little bit more space to play with in here. Um, and we're going to come back to this in a minute. Um, but uh, over here to the right, the first thing you see is tags. And tags are our keywords uh, that uh, people are going to search for and find our website. Uh, it's also, a, depending on the theme and the way you have your site set up, it may be a method that people use to navigate uh, your website also. And so tags become very, very important. Um, for this uh, particular um, post, I'm going to go ahead and put in some tags. Uh, I know I want to have WordPress. Uh, I want to tag um, how to, um, tutorial, video, um, social media, social networking. Now you'll see that it's going to automatically access some of my tags I've used in the past and allow me to add those. And so that's doable. Now also I can come down here and click here where it says choose from the most popular tags and by clicking there it's going to show all the all the tags I've used in all my past posts on this website and I can come through and, and check any of these I want. Um, and so very quickly I am going to just kind of glance through here and see some of these tags would be good for me to use on this one. Uh, I'm definitely going to use entrepreneur, um, home based business, internet marketing, uh, my name, I always use my name as a tag. Okay, networking, network marketing, online networking, I think we already used. Personal growth, so blah, blah, how to set up, social media, social networking, taxes, trends, tutorial, Twitter, video, webcast, webinar, YouTube. So that kind of gives you a quick look at some of the, some of the tags that we've used. And so now I'm going to go ahead and close down that menu. You can see I have a, I've now compiled here a, some tags that I'm going to use in this post, and I can click on the X if I want to get rid of any of them. So that's the first key is coming through to get some tags. Next is categories. Now categories are a very important part of WordPress for several reasons. Uh, one being it is one of the biggest ways that people will navigate your website if you use it correctly. Uh, people can come to your website and say, I want to see all the posts about X thing. Uh, so I have a tutorials category. I also have an internet marketing uh, category. And so I'm going to go ahead and check both those boxes. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you, search engines also read your categories very efficiently. And so the categories you use can be very, very effective. I probably do not use enough categories on my website as I should, um, but uh, all things in good time, right? So real quick now, we're, we've done tags, we've done categories. Up here is where you would change um, the status if, this, if you want to make this a draft, if you want it to, to be password protected or public or private or whatever it is. You you can also come in here and delay when it's going to get posted if you don't want it to go until tomorrow or whatever. Um, I'm just going to uh, hit cancel for now. I just, I'm just going to say this is a draft when we're done. And then after I edit this video, I'll stick it in here and publish. Uh, real quick, let's just go ahead and put in some text. And you'll have to just be patient with me while I type for a second. Okay, I've put in some text here uh, just to kind of introduce the video that we're going to be putting in this post. Um, later I'll come in and I'll put in the post. Let's talk a little bit about this editing section for posts. Um, when you first uh, log in, you'll, you'll actually only have one line of uh, information that you'll be able to put in here. If you come down here to this sort of color palette looking button and click on it, 
it will bring down a second line of options uh, where you can underline, uh, and change the alignment, the paragraphing, you know, whether it's bold or you know the headings, things like that, which is very powerful for search engines. Um, the color of the text. Uh, you'll also be able to paste. You can paste things in as from from uh, as plain text or from Word. And that's powerful to make sure you get the right type of formatting when you're trying to copy and paste something in. Um, you can remove formatting from a section of text. You can insert a video uh, or your other types of media. That can also be done from up here. Um, you can insert a custom character if you may be doing something in a foreign language or whatnot. Um, indenting, indenting and uh, removing indenting, obviously undo, redo, and help. Uh, you'll also see I have a C Forms button here, which is from a special plugin that I use that I'll be covering in a separate tutorial video. Um, hopefully this gives you guys a quick idea. The paragraph is a, is, a, is a key option because the search engines, when they come through and look at HTML text, uh, they do like to see um, what's important. And the things that are in italics, the things that are in bold, the things that are headings are the key, th uh, key words that will help a search engine understand what that page is about. And so by putting some of your keywords in bold or in, by in a heading or things like that, uh, you do things that, that's really, really helpful to uh, increase your optimization for the search engines. Uh, so I'm going to do that very quickly. Uh, I'm going to underline the uh, WordPress right here. Um, I'm also going to uh, say tutorial. Uh, I want to create a couple of hyperlinks. Hyperlinks also are very important. I mentioned here uh, my YouTube channel. And so I'm going to just highlight uh, YouTube channel and come up here to this chain button, insert hyperlink, and it pops up a little link. And here I'm going to put in my link for my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Jacob Paulson. And hit insert. Okay, so now that's, that's going to be a hyperlink people will also go to. Um, also, um, you can, uh, I could come in here and I'd like to uh, put in subheadings. Uh, uh, the title we put in here will always be, already be one he heading. But if you want additional headings, you can do that by coming in here and just saying um, social media tutorial videos continued. Uh, and if I do that and then come in here and change that from paragraph to say heading 2, uh, the search engine is going to recognize that as an additional heading and it will also list it very well. Uh, so that gives you an idea of how some of these tools can be used uh, and hopefully that, that really helps. Uh, you also have a block quote uh, tool, which if you know how to use that, that's that's really great. Um, I'm going to scroll down here. The next thing, um, you, most of you will not have this product entry thing, so don't worry about that. You can ignore that. And then we have excerpt. Now, excerpts are very important. Um, by default, whatever you put in the excerpt is what the search engines will read as the description title uh, tag of this post. And so I always come up here and find something really good uh, and, and go ahead and just, I copy, I usually just copy something and paste it right in here for the excerpt, but you're welcome to type something differently that you want people to see. I'm just too lazy, uh, frankly, and so that's how I do it. Uh, track facts, uh, just always leave this blank unless you're really a smart person, in which case you probably wouldn't need to watch this video anyway. Custom fields, once again, something you don't need to worry about unless you're quite advanced. Allow comments on this post. I like people to comment on my posts. I, I also like to allow track backs and ping backs. That's also good for optimization. And so that gives you a brief idea. Um, later, we're going to be talking in future videos about all of my favorite uh, WordPress plugins and how I use those, uh, including uh, some of the ones you've already seen me mention here, like such as C-Forms, uh, as well as the all-in-one SEO pack. And so stay tuned for future tutorial videos. You'll be able to access those if you subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you always just check back here to the blog or subscribe here to the blog. Uh, thanks, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.